I wanted to see, make a video and actually talk because I used to write myself. I used to write a lot with this hand. But now that I'm actually losing a lot of my ability to write, I, I thought maybe I should record it and then I could hear what I would normally write on a daily basis as a journal. What I wanted to talk about was my diagnosis two months ago about of um, multiple sclerosis. I went through misery for two years. Uh, I thought it was a stroke. We were worried. We didn't know what it was. I, of course, treated it with a lot of uh, diet and exercise. But it was multiple sclerosis all along. I had to have a spinal tap. I had to go through an MRI that had contrast, and then I was there for hours, and it was expensive. Um, but what I wanted to tell you is that uh, now I'm taking a medication, uh, which is uh, dimethyl fumarate, and that's another misery because it is very expensive to pay for it. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to pay for it. I'm probably not going to take it as much. I've been without uh, the medication for so many years that I know I could probably go another four or five years without it. I don't know, but but hopefully I can get it. Um, I'm, I'm trying it. What I wanted to say was that the biggest healing that I have achieved so far has been forgiving so many people who have wronged me. And uh, that's one of the things that multiple sclerosis is. It's like a lot of emotion that's inside of you. Uh, a lot of people cry. I was talking to some of the people that have multiple sclerosis. They have, uh, and I, I've always been very emotional, very, I mean, I mean, it's a lot of, a lot of emotion that is actually pent up inside that needs to be resolved, that needs to be released, that needs to be forgiven. And you, you need to realize that you have to find that place of peace. If you find that place of peace where you're at peace and you're fine and you're not sad or upset or angry or jealous or resentful, any of those negative emotions are going to cause flare-ups. You're going to get worse. So don't... Uh, you have to be positive. You have to think positive, happy thoughts. Uh, I'm, again, I'm trying to keep these videos as short as possible so that people who have multiple sclerosis hopefully can benefit. But more than anything, I also use them as my own journaling, my own processing of how I am at the moment. Uh, I am recovering my right side. I'm recovering my right leg and my ability to walk and my strength. But the way I found out that I had something wrong is that I used to be very strong. I mean, I could lift a lot of weight. I could run. I could jog. And one day I couldn't. You know, I was just walking normally like everybody else. And I could not do what I used to, which was a, a lot more than, than what normal people do. <laughs> I mean, well, what you see in society. I'm, I'm, I'm sure everybody can run and jump and, and do all sorts of things. But... but um. I could do those easily, and now I can't, but I'm, I'm getting there. You know, a lot of swimming, um, try to get yourself with a physical therapist and then try to get a program that will where you can go to physical therapy for like $30 a month. That's what I'm doing with here with Border Therapy. They charge me $30 a month, and I go and I do physical therapy. Uh, I see other people that are just as bad as me, people that are worse, and people that are far better. And that also gives me a motivation to continue. Now, remember, when you're in physical therapy, when you're doing it, you keep moving. You keep working. You do not sit around like I'm doing right now. This is the end of this video. Have a wonderful day. Bye.